As long as I can remember, even before I went to school, I liked grass. I remember one time when I was plowing, my dad says, you gotta get over to the fence closer so we can get two more rows of corn there. Well, of course, I didn't argue with my father. I thought, there's always some corn droppage, and then a nice grass strip would be nice for wildlife, and the cows could lay down on that strip when they got filled up. I did it anyway, because I was told to. And I just thought, I just liked grass too much to plow that good grassland under. It just bothered me. So I just kind of thought I got to find something a little different. Grass is a permanent part of this place, and it's a very important piece of our ecosystem in Dual County. It's important to our economy in Dual County and into the state as a whole. Well, we rotate quite a bit, and we're very careful. We do it at what we think the right stages are. I like biocontrol, very much so. The right amount of cattle. We was very careful not to overgraze it. That was really the main thing. Because out in this country, in eastern South Dakota, if you got grassland left over, it seems like you're wasting all that grass. And I just never looked at it that way. I thought that's a good reserve and it makes it stronger. And I always worked on the theory, you never want to fight Mother Nature. Mother Nature is going to win. You can try, but it's, it's hopeless. You can try and beat things, but it works better if you just work with them. So. Yeah, if it's in grass and that works, it makes a lot more sense. You would be surprised what people will try to farm. When you plow it, you've ruined thousands of years behind you. With one drop of the plow, that can never go back to the original. If you plow under the grasslands, that's a perpetual decision and you'll never be able to get native grass back to where it was. We're talking you know, upwards of 200 species of different grasses and, and forbs in, in the native side, and plowing it just, uh, just completely diminishes a lot of that value. It isn't something that you, you do for monetary reasons. You do it because it's the right thing. It's a series of events and a series of decisions that bring the conservation to a head here on the Bluebell Ranch. They're making decisions not to judge a thing or a plant or an animal on its exact value and worth today for what they can understand, but realizing that even if they don't understand it, it likely has value and worth and has a place in the system, and they're trying to preserve that. If I ever get to the right place, I can look down on this place and say that's always going to be grass. <laughs>